Hey viewers, some good news about my supposedly high quality vlogging camera that I couldn't figure out. I figured out how to turn the sound on so that I can actually hear the audio in the playback on the camera. It was given to me by a friend, so I didn't assume that any of the settings would have been changed or off, and it always really bothered me that whenever I recorded and I hit playback, I could watch it, but I couldn't hear it. I assumed it was just something that the camera does. Never thought to look for the settings. So I was looking through the settings to try to make it lower quality so it would upload better. So this is being recorded in not HD, even though I can change the formatting so that it'll look right on YouTube. And I found a setting that turns on the sound, and sure enough, I can hear the audio in the playback now, so that's great. Great. Today is the day before election day here in the United States. The suspense is palpable. I voted early yesterday and in a few days it will be the rest of our lives. Every moment is the rest of our lives, but you know what I mean. So I voted early yesterday. I've been in like a weird place for weeks now, but today I woke up early, bright and early, sun streaming in my window, and I had this incredible urge to go and do a specific thing. So I figure I will vlog some of it. So, here we go. A couple other things right quick before I leave. Someone recently loaned me these, so I recently read these. Super exciting, I love them. I have to go on to the third one. If you don't know, Ransom Riggs, the author, where, oh my gosh, tiny, tiny little, look at that, quality, look at that autofocus. Ransom Riggs is a friend of John Green who writes lots of books that are great. Other thing, I currently possess, for a short amount of time, the Vertigo Tarot, which is illustrated by Dave McKeon, text written by Rachel Pollock, and the introduction is by Neil Gaiman. It's based on Vertigo comics and some of the characters and whatnot. I am borrowing it from a friend. It actually, the deck belonged to Kristen Keck, who I see at the Cleveland Area Pagan Pride Days event every year, and she had it for sale and it was a little bit pricier than I wanted to pay for something that I didn't think I was going to use very often, because I'm not someone who uses a bunch of different tarot decks, I'm not someone who collects a bunch of different tarot decks, especially since I mostly read Oracle rather than tarot specifically, but I really loved it, and I love Neil Gaiman, and just all of that kind of thing. I haven't actually read all of the comics that this is based off of, very few actually, just bits and pieces, but I really like what I know of it, so I thought, oh, it's really cool, but it's not really something that I would get just to collect. But one of my friends was there, and she also really loves Neil Gaiman and Sandman and all that kind of thing, so I persuaded her to purchase the deck <laughs> so that I could read the book when I wanted to. I started reading the book today, uh, so she loaned it to me for a little bit. She's had it for a couple of years now, but I saw her recently at an event and she had it with her and she said, hey, do you want to borrow this? So if anyone would like a reading from me using the Vertigo Tarot, I have it temporarily and I will do some readings for you. Just bearing in mind that tarot is not my usual locale. Uh, that's not the word, but it made sense to me. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So in case anyone's interested in that, we can do that. Now I'm gonna go and do the thing that I said I was gonna do. Let's go. While I'm driving and while I'm thinking about it, there are a few things that I've said in videos in the past few months that aren't true anymore. It's really all social media related. <laughs> Several videos ago, I talked about how I'm on all this different social media and you should be following me in those places if you want to hear more from me outside of videos. And I said that I don't really use Twitter, so you can follow me there, but I really don't use it, and that I'm on Instagram and Facebook a lot. Well, that's changed a little bit because I am on Twitter all of the time now, and I have not been on Facebook. And that is because I finally got the Twitter app, so I was tempted to check it more often and then just during this whole election process following everything on Twitter has been so easy and so helpful and I have met several more met several more people online who I now follow on Twitter who are amazing and some different websites and things like Everyday Feminism and Femsplain that post a lot of really awesome progressive feminist articles and just think pieces and stuff and so I've been learning a lot more about other people's points of view that way, which is fantastic. And I am still on Instagram a lot, and I'm not on Facebook because I can't just, when you share things to Facebook, it shares them to your personal one, and I can't do that to my page because I don't have the Pages app. And I didn't want to get it, but I think I might have to get the Pages app. I might just have to run my whole life in apps, you guys. It's ridiculous, but I want to be able to be there for you 
and in places where we can connect. So I just thought I would mention that, yeah, several videos, videos ago, I can speak, I said that I'm not on Twitter and I'm on Facebook a lot and that has flip-flopped. I am on Twitter a lot and not on Facebook a lot. So I know there are a lot of messages to my Facebook page because I get the notifications on my phone, but I can't actually check them from my phone because they're on my public page and not on my personal profile and my camera has shifted, so that's okay. We're at a red light and I'm almost to my destination. We have arrived. Beautiful. If you can hear that humming in the background, that's a lawnmower. Hey! What's up? and then just nothing. Jeez. There will be no sneaking through the woods today, all this crunching everywhere. Ridiculousness. We're by the road. Pretty much everything's by the road. However, I've encountered my first animal guide for the hike. See him? Sneak. Hi. <laughs> Across right in front of my path. Okay, bye. Oh shit, I almost stepped on another one. Hey you. Okay. Okay. I was honestly afraid of that. After I saw one, I was like, fuck, there might be more. Not that I'm afraid of them, because I'm pretty sure these are garter snakes, so they can't do anything, but like, I did not want to just like stumble upon another big one or something. And, then, and there's another one, just chilling. Not another one, another one, I'm talking about the same one. So just two, right here, and the other one. Okay, so I'm thinking, holy shit! Okay, there's another one in front of me that I just noticed. I don't know if you can see. Where are we here? Where are we? There, see? Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Woo! Lots of my magic comes in threes. Three snakes. Holy. I'm standing here on one foot because I don't want to step anywhere else. Holy shit, dude. If that one hadn't actually crawled across my path, I would not have seen these. I am in a bed of snakes. Dear Medusa, I hear you. I hear you. And I have to go back now. Not because I don't want this lesson, but because I want to protect your babies. Oh my God. Okay, we're on a rock now. <laughs> and now you know what my startled in the woods scream sounds like. Oh my God. Something just like shifted under my foot and it was loose and I was afraid I was about to step on another snake or something. Okay, okay, so this is what's crazy. I grew up here. I lived here my whole life. I used to run around these woods all the time and I have never, walked into a bunch of snakes like that before. And I'm not kidding when I say I've been working with Medusa a lot this past year. Why am I so startled right now? <sighs> okay, um, so working with Medusa a lot this past year and I tweeted something about it the other day. We're real close to the road. Let's walk away to talk. The camera is like reflecting light onto the ground and I'm like thinking that it's movement from other things. Holy shit, okay, okay. These are the trees that I'm standing under right now. Just, you know, and this way. So, I tweeted something about it the other day. I posted something on my personal Facebook the other day. Snakes are also a symbol of magic in general, in feminine power, and in some circles, they are symbols of paganism, and I like them, I don't mind them. I care, same thing with spiders, I care mostly when I don't know whether or not they can hurt me. When it's something like those, where I'm pretty sure those were garter snakes and I'm pretty sure those are safe, they're the ones that I've always seen around here my whole life, 
and they can't hurt you. I'm not afraid of them. I'm just mostly afraid of being startled by them or like stepping on them. I don't want to hurt them. So, but it was just so startling. So the one slithered across my path, which is why I saw him. That's the first one I showed. And then I thought, oh shit, what if there's another one lurking somewhere nearby? Or like, wouldn't it be terrifying if I just kept walking and came upon this giant snake that I never thought could exist here? And then there was another snake. And then there was a third one right in my path looking forward. And I was just like, I need to get out of here because I don't know how many of them are down there. And I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to disturb them. But also now I'm just like startled by everything. And I'm not usually like this in the woods at all. I'm usually very aware wear. So I've already come across a few things just on this short walk that are reiterating to me problems that I know I've been dealing with and that's kind of what I was hoping for just going on a walk getting some guidance from the land and I'm covered in burrs right now. I haven't been covered in burrs in years which says that it's been too long since I've gone for a walk in these woods. So you know let's see I've got just I've already picked a lot of them off but I'm covered in burrs. I don't know what you call these elsewhere in the world but we call them burrs. Okay, like my socks? Aren't they cute? Anyway, these little things. Covered in them. I used to pick them out of my dog's fur all the time. And when I'm hiking, my camera is in one of my socks so that I don't have to hold it because I don't have pockets because I'm wearing leggings. But anyway, yeah, okay, cool. Lesson <sighs> confronted. I just wanted to go for a nice walk in the woods and this is what we get, I don't know. But I was, yeah, I was like down. I was down there closer to the road, like over that ridge, and there's like a big rock bed down there. So that's totally more like where they would chill. I've also never been this indecisive walking in these woods before, which is just another thing coming up. Like, literally, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where to go. There are so many options, and I can't decide. Story of my life. I've always really liked these trees. They're all just covered in thorns. I don't know why. I hear a bird. I haven't seen any birds, but I hear a bird. And I hear something over there. But I'm downwind of it. So, hmm. I love the shapes that the vines and everything make. My balance is really off too. There's some more burr-like burrs. Are we gonna focus? Are we gonna, are we gonna focus? There is some burrs. But also, what I found, hold on. Spending all this time trying to find an angle where you can see the web that I'm looking at. There it is. No, don't focus on the ground. Focus on the little spider in the web. Well, you saw it for a second. Having a camera, by the way, hey little buddy, is a great way to make people not wonder what the fuck you're doing. Because if I just run across the road, but then I stop and hold a camera up, they know what the fuck I'm doing. And it's not as weird. So this is across the street from where I grew up. I'm actually going back here to look for something specific just to see if this like landmark type thing is still here. And autumn, might be a horrible time to find it, actually. I don't know, excuse me. So we'll see. I tucked my scarf into my shirt because it was getting caught on thorns and burrs and stuff. So I'm very fashionable right now. And uh, there's a nest of some kind up there. A few leaves clinging to the trees. Sun. I don't have my phone with me. I left the house without my phone. It's charging at my grandma's house. We'll head back there soon. Grandma was napping when I left. So if she wakes up and remembers that I was there and I'm not there, she'll get worried. So I'm not gonna stay out long, but I have been out here like in the past when I was little. Ooh, wait, look at those leaves. Oh my gosh, the zoom is so slow. Look at them. They look pink from here to me, but they look gold on the camera. Anyway, when I was younger, I used to walk back here all the time and I would stay out here till like sunset. People would get upset because <laughs> they didn't know where I was. This was before cell phones. Clearly they've made other trails. People have been driving through here and stuff because I don't think this is all from the service road. Ooh, mud. Good thing I have my combat boots ready for anything. I don't know why it's so muddy back here, but doesn't that look nice? Isn't that what you 
those look nice? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is totally what I like to see when I come check out areas that I used to play in as a child. Is a bunch of trees cut down. That's cool. There's a stump right over there of a recently cut down tree. The, the sap is just gushing out of it, kind of like this one. Only that one's bigger. And this looks like it's hardened a bit. And that one must have been recently cut down because there's just sap oozing out of it. And there's flies all like eating it, clinging to it. And then, yeah, see? Oh man, yeah, I love it. No, it's not, what the f Dude. Okay. Flies and bees and bugs surrounding it, just like any other dead body. Is that a butterfly? Okay, except I took this other trail thinking maybe it was just a less muddy cut around to where I was going. And so far it's not. Where I was trying to go is still further that way. Ay ay ay. Well, this is cool. This is a, a grand discovery, folks. Back on the trail. Noisy app. The sun on the yellow leaves over there on the ground is really pretty. So, I'm at this clearing. We used to come back here and play. Occasionally, not a lot, but, you know, some pretty. Holy shit, that's a deer. Which means so is that. Did you hear that? Did you hear him call? Maybe. Wow. It's two. Wow. There you go. You can sort of see it better over here. Of course, I'm like crashing around in the underbrush and someone made a trail over here. Cool. Except not cool. Because they're not making it for walking around, they're making it for cutting shit down. So there were some deer, I disturbed them. I apologize. I'm gonna head back, because I don't know exactly how long I've been gone. Judging by how many video clips I've taken, I've probably been out for like... 45 minutes? No. Half an hour to 45 minutes. I don't know. But I should head back. And I'm back lit now. Check on grandma. Check on my laundry. So this is what I wanted to do today. I'm going to turn off the camera for the walk back so that I can just kind of be with myself, with my surroundings and whatnot. And um, yeah, I'll see you when I get back. Grandma thought I was gone. You th were worried that I was gone. I came back up the hill, and as I came back up the hill, I heard her yelling, <laughs> and my cousin was out here like, I told you, she was just walking around the hill. Like, I was waving at them. They knew I was out there. Who are you but, yeah. to? Talking to the camera. Grandma. The camera. I don't know. I guess now we might go get something to eat. Or, oh, oh, I got a message on my phone. I left my phone here and everything. You tried to call me, but I left my phone here. Anyway, I don't know if we might go get something to eat now, or what. I gotta check on my laundry. This is Grandma with her cup of cheese. Ooh. Are you eating your cheese? I got my cheese. Are you eating it? <laughs> Are you eating it? I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, you get so touchy when I ask if you're eating, but you ask me if I'm eating all the time. So, fun fact. This restaurant uh, is in my hometown and it used to be something else and Grandma used to work here way back in the day. But when I was really little, I loved mozzarella cheese. It's actually my favorite kind of cheese. I'm talking to the camera. I don't eat cheese anymore because I'm vegan, but I do love it. And mozzarella was my favorite. And when I used to come into this restaurant as a tiny kid, like as a toddler and then as a small child, when I would walk in, they would hand me one of these cups full of shredded mozzarella cheese and just let me eat it. Like even if we didn't buy anything, they knew I just loved it and as soon as I would walk in they would give me that. 
I was spoiled. This is how we do it. We get a pasta and a pizza and we split it. Perfect. Grandma's making fun of my art. But now I know. Alright, ready to go home? Mm -hmm. And that's the end of uh, the most part of the day. Now I'm going to rehearsal. It's only 6 o'clock. Seems dark. But there's the sun still setting. So I'm home now. Rehearsal went a little bit longer than usual, so it's 9 o'clock. I'm going to get started editing this and upload it. So by the time you see this video, it will be election day in the United States. It's a big deal. I hope that if you're in the United States and eligible to vote and registered and all of that, that you are voting. This is not time to sit out. And some other things that I just want to say before I go to remind you all, I have been wanting to blog a little bit more recently. I'm going to try to actually be good about like posting about when I have done new blogs, at least on Twitter, if not other places. I've done one new one so far, but I have lots of others milling about in my brain. So check out thewitchystuff.blogspot.com. That's my blog. That's also where you can find the page where I do my readings if you want to get a reading. I have posted some new things on my Etsy, some of my previous things that I've relisted. Some of my jewelry items are on there. There's still a bunch more stuff that I have not yet posted, but just make sure you have it bookmarked so that you can check for it. I'd like to try to get a bunch of stuff up there before the holidays because, you know, it's a good time to buy gifts and things for people. So I definitely want to get more working on that. There might be some little local, like, artists, arts and crafts things, events that I'm going to try to do around the holiday season. So hopefully I'll get my butt in gear. I actually had some really cool, I think, ideas for it as I was driving around earlier. So hopefully I'll get to executing those soon. And if you are sponsoring me on Patreon, you have gotten some exclusive content lately. In case you haven't checked it, go and check that out. For those of you who are sponsoring me, there's one or two, depending on your sponsorship level, one or two exclusive videos that I posted recently, and I will be making my best effort to put more of that stuff out there, stuff that I don't talk about on my public channel, and other pictures of things that I'm doing and stuff like that. Last thing, a couple videos ago I asked you all if you would be interested in doing a Q&A video with me sometime soon, and a bunch of you said yes, that would be awesome. So, I posted on Twitter weeks ago asking people for questions, and I got no questions! That's just how my life works. Like, I don't get questions unless I post about it on here and tell you guys. So make sure you're following me on all those other places so that when I say, hey, ask me some questions, I'm going to do a video that I can, like, actually get some and then do one because that never happens. And that would just be cool. So ask me some questions in the comments or you can tweet them at me. Use the hashtag CuteWitchQs, CuteWitchQs, and I will find them there. And I'll do a question and answer video probably later this month. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.